This is Corolla Digital. Welcome to Hammer and Nails with Skip and Allison Fidel. Uh, we're rolling. Hey now. What's up? What is going on, y'all? Thank you guys for coming back to Hammer and Nails. I'm Allison Bedell. I'm Skip Bedell. And over there on the mixing board is Mr. I'm the red-headed stepson, <laughs> Joe Cumia. <laughs> Mr. Joseph Cumia. I was trying to whistle, but it wouldn't come out good. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? Hope you're all having a good week. And uh, we're back doing this thing again. They let us come back. <laughs> they let us come back. You know, we've been getting some really nice feedback and some email, and we, I just can't say it enough how much we love you guys. Yeah, we're getting great feedback, right? Like Everybody's people, so people fucking People are digging nice. it. They're giving us some cool questions, and and uh, there's more like, love you guys than you suck. So I just figured, like, you know, any time that, that number, the ratio is better, then, yeah. then we're doing something right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it almost, I almost didn't want to go there yet, but I, I actually had some... Um, some breaking news on that on that front. I didn't even want to hit it yet. Really? Actually, breaking. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it. In a, I'm gonna hit it in a minute. Uh, um, uh, but I just wanted that to, shit. I got I got I got to hit it in a minute. Hit it in a minute. But what I just wanted to say first was that um, remind everybody that we have the website and that uh, you can find our entire podcast on our website. Yeah. And that's hammerandnailspodcast.com. It'll take you right to the podcast player. Goes right to it. Yeah. And you'll also have the whole menu there for the rest of the entire website, which is Skip and Allison Yeah. And Skip was on uh, just yesterday. He was on Fox and Friends in the oh, morning yeah. again, doing a very cool DIY oh, yeah. that segment. That was pretty cool. Some energy saving tips. Yeah. For back winter. in the city at the, the Fox building, mm-hmm. doing the uh, Fox and Friends morning show thing and uh doing like diy tips right always doing cool stuff over there fun things like stuff yeah. that people can use you know it was it's you were really like afterwards like you were every time afterwards you're like ah oh, it felt so rushed. i'm very uh. critical of myself you know yeah. it's like it, listen it's live tv first of all it's like you know it, that's by the way is a huge show I and mean, millions of people watch that across the country mm-hmm. actually didn't somebody yes! didn't somebody like yeah, my friend Teresa Texas Gendali, from, she was in fucking mexico, mexico on a mexico. vacation with her husband yeah she yeah. Gringo, I saw you on Fox and Flames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she texted me like an hour afterwards and that they were watching yeah. TV there in Mexico and she went on Fox News Channel and saw you. Wow. That was very fucking cool. Wow, I'm crossing the border then. Totally. I Holy. didn't know that they played that. I had no idea. Yeah. Who knew? Multi-markets. Yeah. Well, you know, it's fun doing these things. I, mean, I always like coming up with cool things that people can use and, like, you know, helpful stuff. And I figure we're coming into the change of seasons now, the fall and everything, cold weather's coming. And ironically, you know, I did the whole segment on how to save money on your heating yeah. bills. And it was like like a record-breaking high temperature. Yes. It was 75 degrees Elizabeth yesterday. In the city. I was going to say, which really comes in handy in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah right. She came out in her pea coat. It was a beautiful, like, salmon-colored pea coat, I think. Yeah, and she's put together very well. Yeah, she looked, she's so pretty. She, you know, she's very pretty, She, she yeah. has shitty politics, but she's so pretty. She's very, and she's yeah, very nice. She's very, very sweet. She she always is interested in what I have to say yes, about yes, my, yes. my DIY tips. Yes, she does not support uh, equality and safety. Same-sex marriage, but she's a very nice person. Otherwise, well, that I mean, that, that's a whole other issue. I, I don't care politics about any of this are, stuff. Politics are an opinion. I, we're talking about DIY tips here, right? We're talking about yeah. remodeling and fixing stuff in your house. I don't care. Yeah, about no, what she, she was actually. About. She it was cute because you had her using your. Um, like I guess it's like a shop hair dryer or just heat no, blower. No, it's, it's a heat gun. Yeah, it's and, like an industrial yeah, heat gun for the uh, shrink wrap. So, yeah, and she burnt a hole in it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all right. So let me let me walk you through. Damn this. Republicans! Yeah. <laughs> they don't know how to do shit. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to somebody on the right, see what happens. <laughs> Fucking burn a hole in the plastic. She burnt a hole on the left. Damn it! <laughs> the window. <laughs> yeah, see, that's right. Yeah, it was on the left side. She burnt it. Figures. She wouldn't do anything wrong on the right side. I love her. She's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> She's the best. Uh, yeah, wow. uh, you know. So I'll walk you through this thing real quick. I'm trying to every 
By the way, every time I do these things, whether it's in Fox or wherever it is I do it, I, it's, I kind of produce it myself. I come up with the idea, something I hope is going to be interesting and people are going to want to watch. Enough so they're going to say, hey, that was really cool. Come back and do it again, right? So it's always like kind of like a song, Joe, like when you were on stage. But you got to like almost outdo yourself, right? right. It's like, you know, you, you never – you always want your performance to be like the next one's got to outdo the one you just Complacency did. is the enemy when it comes to uh, show Exactly, business. yeah. Any kind of show business. So for me, it's like I, I'm thinking i got to do something really effective, but I also had to do, I have to do a little bit better than I did last time, right? Because I want, I want to keep doing it. So I'm like, okay, well, this is going to be a slam dunk because it's getting cold. That's the first thing everybody's thinking about. You and know, you were dressed keep... like the naked cowboy. Slam yeah. dunk. Uh, yes, yeah, done. <laughs> <laughs> I should have worn my wool cap and gloves and you know really played the part, but I, you know it was just too damn hot. Actually, I had like a jacket and a sweater and all that stuff, and thinking it's going to be you know cool, but I wound up mm. I put my short sleeves on. So anyway, I'm putting this whole thing together come up with these bunch of topics and everything and things that I can do. And by the way, I got to build all the props to this thing. It's not like, you know, people might think, or they see me doing this demo. They just might imagine I walk onto the set and it's like, you know, like on some commercial set and like they hand you a tool belt and like, okay, skip, here you go. Here's your props, here's your script, whatever. No, it's like, all right, um, you Friday morning, you're on at uh, 750 and uh, we hope you got something good. So that's it. So everything you see me working with, all the props, like in this case, I had a window and a door and all the things I was putting on it. I got to build all that stuff, truck it into the city, set it up, and whatever. So I'm not complaining about it. But anyway, there's, there's a, a lot involved in the, more yeah. than what you just see. There's a lot. And yes. nobody, I'm sure, I mean, like I've never watched one of those morning shows and thought what went behind setting up the props. Right. Well, <laughs> That's not a thought that goes No, a my lot mind. of places have prop departments and right. things like that. So they will tell you the kind of segment they're doing, right? They're, we're doing a segment on whatever, right? And we want you to come and host it. It's already set up. They got the props there. They got everything. You come in and you do your part, Yeah, they right? have a props department that sets it up. Yeah, just like many commercials I've done, right? Like, I don't yeah. go there. You know, they, it's set up. I walk in the hand me a script. With it. So this is not scripted. This is every word you hear out of my mouth is something I came up with. And you got usually about three to five minutes, five on definitely on the high end. Usually it's closer to three. So it's very rushed. You have to try to get everything in in a short amount of time. So for me now, having done a few of these in a row, I'm always feeling like any second they're going to be like, all right, thanks a lot, Skip, and back to the weather, right? So I'm like, at any second, the hammer's going to drop. So it's always like that feeling of, you know. Race. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up, hurry. Yeah, yeah. And so there was, they they came to you like a minute before you started and told you to cut out a third of what it was you were going to talk about because right. they were short on time or something. Well, when I spoke to them earlier in the week, like we've done many times before, a producer will call me and they say, well, what, what is it that you plan on doing? And give us a quick rundown of it and give us, you know, the products you're going to talk about. And I have to tell them what they are so they can put down in that lower part of the screen the graphics and the things that you read, right? They write all that. So I got to give them that information in advance. And also they said, well, how long is it going to take to do this? So I always do a couple of dry runs at home, and I try to keep it three to four minutes, right? Now, sometimes I tell them, listen, it's going to take more than that. You have to give me more time. And if they don't have it, they'll be like, well, no, we can only give you this much time, so you got to cut something out. Yeah. Okay. So for this particular segment, they're like, yeah, you got at least four minutes, you're good. And, I, okay, so I build this, this demo basically based on that time. I got enough time to talk about a door, enough time to talk about a window, and these three or four products that we're going to talk about. And when I get there... And there was a lot of products on the table that you knew in advance that you would not have any time to talk yeah, about. Yeah, there's never enough time to do it all, but I bring a bunch of stuff to put out there so when the camera pans it, it's kind of like there are other things there that people right. might go on our website and say, hey, what is that other stuff? Yeah, you know? which reminds me, that's what I forgot to do. I, I put a link on our website to the whole video, right. but I didn't put... Um, extra stuff at the bottom to show the stuff that you didn't have time to show. Right. But I just wanted to stick in with that in mind. You do have another part on under Skip's Tips uh, where there is a full explanation of the yeah. winter saving, money saving stuff all, where they yeah. can look at there and all, all those the products, stuff is the there. Yeah, it's all there. So anyway, as I'm building this thing, um, you know, the, the door and the window, so you got to think of this show like, okay, so now I need something to demonstrate how to put weather stripping on a door, right? We're out in the middle of the sidewalk. That's the other problem this thing presents because we're out in the middle of nowhere so it's not like I, i'm going to have a wall that i can demonstrate on a door i have to bring the door build a wall yeah so that's, <laughs> that's, that's stand yeah that's exactly right so i have to it's almost like if you were a set carpenter or a prop builder or whatever yeah. that's what they do right okay so now i got to set this stuff up also with the idea that it has to fit in my truck right that we got to get it into the city so it's always like that the logistics of it is kind of crazy so i go to depot and by the way they fucking hate me home depot because every time i do one of these things i go in there and i load up carts full of stuff 
I buy it all. I do the demo the next day or whatever, two days later, and then I, I return it all because <laughs> like, I don't need it. Right? Who needs it? No, yeah. I, don't, I don't need the – And do- if he has his stuff already, his is dirty, and he wants a nice clean one for TV. Uh, well, yeah. like, like I, a, 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 a few of these ago, like I think two or three of those ago, I did a tool demo, right? So – I, I happen to be a fan of DeWalt tools, so I decided I want to do like a DeWalt demo. Now, I, I, if I had enough time, I would have contacted the people at DeWalt, and they probably would have sent me a bunch of tools to, to, to use for the demo. But I didn't. It was only like a two-day turnaround. So I went to Depot. And, but, you know, I have all these tools, right? But uh, like you said, they're all banged up, whatever. <laughs> I use them every day. <laughs> so I go there, and I get a bunch of stuff, probably about $1,500 worth of power tools, right? Drills and saws and all kinds of stuff, right? And I set it all up, and I bring it there. And then the next day, I return it all. <laughs> so, so the last time I went and did that, when I went to go return it, the girl at the return desk is like, um, like she was is looking. Is anything wrong with all of this? It, yeah, it must it must show on the computer what you right. return because like the, she didn't want to do it. And I'm like, well, you got to do it. You, right, know? you like, have to. Yeah. Because yeah. I know your policy. Yeah, so she had to get a manager over and like whatever. Yeah. Wait, wait till I bring this shit back. That... Did you bring a receipt or did she look it up the receipt by the No, no, card? I had the receipt. Oh, wow. So anyway, that's where I'm going with this. So. I build the I build this frame to stand the door up in, and it's got to be it's got to be balanced. Everything so the door opens and closes, right? It can't be like all cockeyed. Meanwhile, you're on unlevel ground, so the door frame. I had to, I had to account for a lot of different things, right? Not, not quite plumb. No, no, not at all. <laughs> That's the all I need is to go to close the door and it doesn't work, right? So anyway, so I build that thing. I build a tabletop thing that a window is freestanding and it sits on the table. And now I can demonstrate all these things that are going to products that are going to go on the door. I load it all up in the truck the night before, and it was like a whole day to build all this shit, by the way. I load it all up in the truck the night before, and we got to get up at like 4 in the morning and drive into the city so I can set all this stuff up before we got to start filming. <laughs> Open up the back of the truck, and I go to pull the door out, and the door is completely stained with like what looks like brown water stains because it was in my truck and I have like that uh that roll up uh cargo cover in my you know my truck which everything is there stays dry but it was really humid out that night it was like foggy must have formed condensation yes yeah and and you could see like it would drip Uh. on the door and there was big brown spots everywhere so I'm like what the fuck? We, <laughs> I'm no, not going to return no, this. No, it is. We were stuck in traffic on the LAE. I'm, I'm, I'm pounding the gas pedal. We're trying to get there. I'm weaving in and out of traffic. I'm like, fuck, because this is live. It's not like they're going to wait for me, right? Right, live TV. So I get there like just in enough time to like set the thing up real quick. And three, two, one, go. I pull the door out, and it's, it's shot. It's, it's fucked up. So I'm like, oh, no, what am I going to do? So I, I did the whole demo with the door swung open in the open position because the other side that was facing down in the truck hadn't gotten damaged. So I could still do the demo, right? So anyway, I set this whole thing up. I run through the whole deal. And um, as, as, I'm, as I'm getting ready to start, the producer comes up to me and she's like, uh, we just want to let you know there's been some changes in the time. We don't quite have as much time as we thought. So now, like, can you, is there anything you can cut out? And, like, you know, I already have all this stuff re- rehearsed in my head, yeah. you know, because you got three minutes to, like, talk about a lot of shit real fast, you know. So I'm thinking, okay, now I just got to change it on the fly. That's the second change in about five minutes that's come before. Oh, oh and by the way, they're putting the mic on you because we're ready to go right now. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let's do it. But I work good under pressure. It was just, uh, it, you know. It was, I have an idea. Was, Why don't you just build everything half scale? Um, get a little tiny door. Actually, even we'll better, get, turn get a little off. like dollhouse door. Mine's off. Something tiny, teeny weeny. Turn the shit off. That's, that's you. Huh? No, man. That's your laptop. No. no. Oh no, that was me. Ding. Oh, oh ding. Bird's done. <laughs> ding. <Yeah. laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> so anyway, it went, it went really well. But we know when I watch these things back and. You know, we always get great comments. Well, as it turned out, there was more time than – because Elizabeth ended up – obviously, she got something in her ear, somebody telling her to ask about the the thing that you had cut out because there was time to talk about the thing that you right. cut out. Right, so then she backtracked, and we did it. And, by the way, while she's doing that, I gave her the you know, the shrink wrap that you put over windows and or some demonstrating how to do that, right? So <clears> – <throat> That also is something that, you know, we have to do very quickly, and it's, it's not – in reality, the job is not really quite that quick. So I had already done half of it. I put all the tape all the way around. I put on half of the plastic and kind of propped it up. So when I got there, all I had to do is pull it down and just go like this and put the heat gun on it, right? I didn't have time to cut it and all that shit. It was already pre-done. So I'm like, and all you have to do, Elizabeth, is just run, the, uh, you know, a, a household hair dryer back and forth across it. Well, I'm using like an industrial heat gun, which works really well too, but you can't hold it too close to the plastic. 
I didn't really even think about that because I know better, but she doesn't. And she's like, she's passing it back and forth across the thing. And I'm seeing like a little hole go. I'm like, like, good job, Elizabeth. (laughs) (laughs) I guess the camera didn't see it, though. But anyway, I mean, you know, the demo goes really well and everybody liked it. But when I listen to it, I always feel like I can I can feel the urgency in me because I know the way I'd like to explain it. And it's 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 always such a rushed situation, you know. But well, it uh, came out good, and you look good doing it. Yeah, that's what it is, though. You, you know, had that that's... nice uh, affliction shirt on, yeah. and, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you had your nice. Got a plug on. affliction, man. We and, love them. I know everything looked good. It and... always comes down to the end result, anyway. After it's all said and done, if you right. did good, they'll let you know. And that's, I mean, it's the same thing. Same thing with a band. With everything, you get, you get there, set up, no sound check. Good. Okay, you're on. Right. Time yeah. to play, and yeah. you do. And if you, you know what, if you know your job, like you know your job, yeah. or like I know mine, or, you know, right. it's, it, it comes out yeah. great. So. Yeah, you just you just do your thing. But you just you know. get all that, you get that bundled up, like, ball of anxiety before it, because you know that you're going to have to hurry and you get in your head way too much. Well, I'm trying to fill you all in so you can understand what's going on. Like, you know, I'm... I'm He's a different person until here's after... Here's what happens, I mean, dude. even until, like, another here's t- what 20 happens, minutes right? after. Two days before, I had to think of the idea. I had to put together the script. I had to go and buy all the shit. I had to build it all, load it all in the truck, get it to the city in rush hour traffic, take it out of the truck, set it up, and then... Do my live thing on live TV in front of millions of people, one take, no redos, right? So you hope everything goes well. So, yeah, maybe that's a good a little anxiety. That might be a good reason to be a little bit. I mean, you know, I don't, I'm not, I never really get like nervous though, you know, like I'm pretty, I'm very comfortable on, on camera, but all those other things that have to happen in time. And if, and then like, you know, Joe, when you get to a gig and like all of a sudden like something doesn't work or you got a bad cable or whatever, you could be the best guitarist in the world, man. If you don't yeah, have the cable your, that you need. It's out of your control. This, what are you going to do? Control, right. Nothing. So I got there and like the door is now. watch the hole burn in your plastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it went it went really well. We had a good time and we did our thing, right? Yes. It yeah. was uh it was a lot of fun watching you scramble like an ant running from <laughs> But Windex. I pull it off every time though. <laughs> Somehow or another I pull yeah. it off. And then they also had their um Geraldo Rivera was on right after you. Oh right. So yeah. I was like you were putting the shit away, and I'm like, hurry the fuck up, because I wanted to go back inside. I wanted to yeah, run into Yeah, she didn't care her- about me. She just wants yeah. to see Geraldo. I wanted to run into Geraldo and take a <laughs> selfie, you know? But I think either he went, he got out. We're opening oh. Al Capone's vault. Yeah, right. <laughs> Remember that thing? <laughs> well, he's had so many watchouts. It was, it was, you know, yeah. I mean, Willowbrook was really good, his, his expose on, on Willowbrook. Yeah. But so many things after that was like, you know, and it was always live TV, too. Yeah. Do you remember watching the Al Capone's vault, how long yes. they strung that thing out? And when we come back, we're going to be oh, two yeah. steps closer to opening the vault. <laughs> oh, and yeah. then be like, and we're going to return in just a minute, and you're going to get to see as we turn the dial on the vault. <laughs> yeah. And then this like, is where Al Capone was born. Yeah. And we're going in real time to the vault that he last used. Yeah, I'm like, dude, open the fucking safe already. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So we didn't um, we didn't get to see him because I think he slipped out a back door or something. Um, yeah. He didn't walk down the hallway. He pulled an Arnold. He totally did. He, he went Arnold. to the underground tunnel yeah, and that, escaped. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's our thing that we figured out with Arnold Schwarzenegger because I see him like every day at Gold's Gym in Venice Beach. And I see him come in, and I work out right next to him like the whole time. We see him walking around the whole place. And then he and happens like, to work out at all the equipment by the door. Yeah, and then all, <laughs> the and then all of a sudden you're like, where'd he go? He never left. You know, like, and like, you, know, you know there's a crowd of people that always waits by the front door because right. they don't want tourists coming in there and taking pictures of shit. And for somehow or another, like, he, he manages to get out of that building. So there's got to be some sort of, like, presidential escape hatch or some shit, Ooh. you know? Somewhere. Some kind of tunnel. He pulled an Arnold. Yeah, he totally did. Geraldo. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah he pulled a Geraldo. <laughs> Arnold? What? No, wait. Arnaldo. Ar- ah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Arnaldo. Well, I mean, I wasn't extremely <laughs> I'm disappointed. going to open a vault. I'm Arnaldo. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. All right. Um, so then we went out to uh, and had a nice lunch down by uh, Columbus Circle afterwards yeah, was with cool. our friend Roger. Yes. And we went to this uh, cool restaurant. Roger uh, Lee, by the way, we'll give him a little plug. He's a producer over at uh, Good Morning America. Yeah. And uh, they are actually talking about doing doing some things. I'm going to be doing some segments with them. I think actually yeah. we'll, we both might be doing something with them, yes. some investigative yes. type of something. I don't really like to say anything until it happens. Yeah, but, well, I'm, I'm right. not saying that it's when it's happening. I'm just saying I'm just saying I don't like to, I don't like to think that things are going to happen like until that. we know that they're happening. Because, yeah. you know, you don't, get, you don't expect something, you don't, you're not missing anything if it doesn't happen. But we look forward to it if it does. Yes. 
Um, so we went to lunch with Roger, and then um, we went to a, a pretty nice restaurant. What was it called? Something Mark? Landmark. Yeah. The C at the end, right? So in, the, in that same building, they have uh, CNN also, which is where I had gone to do the, uh, a segment of um, Dr. Drew on call last year right. for the New York City uh, side of it. And they have like a mall in there and this nice restaurant. So we sat down. We had a really nice – it was actually breakfast at like around, what, like 11 o'clock in the morning. They had like all-day breakfast or something. It was like a brunch. Yeah. And so you guys both had like your, your, your steak and eggs and I had eggs. Um, so where I'm going with this is that the bill yeah, came where out. where are you going The with bill this? came out to like <laughs> $115, right? So at, at this point you had given – you put your credit card down. I grabbed the check so, you know, I was going to pay for it. I had a um, – I had to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah so you went to the bathroom. So I took the thing and I, and I put and the credit card in, you know, and I went to pay. F- I gave it the thing to pay for it. Right. And as I was waiting for the girl to come back and I looked down at, did you hear that? Like a little, eh, like a little static or something. Like a little. It's just in the it's, headphone. It's, thing. yeah, um, noise. So I look at the bill and I noticed that it was wrong. But only like it was the prices were wrong. Now, just based on what I had looked at when we looked at the menu, right. things were one like the the ham and I mean the steak and eggs was twenty nine dollars on the bill. It was thirty one dollars each. And then like my my eggs are supposed to be like sixteen dollars, but then it was like t- um like fourteen dollars plus three plus three like for the the ham and the cheese. And I'm like, right. why did they break it up? And now it's more. Yeah, than you what look it was. at all that stuff. Like, no, I, you know, I, I, ne- is, I never do. Like, like I usually it, don't either. It's a good thing like, you I check don't. it because I would never even no, notice this, it. Listen, this is the thing, though. I noticed that it was wrong, but I didn't say anything. Right. Because I was kind of like, because I was just me and Roger, and I'm sitting there like, and if it was just me, if it was me and you, and she came back, I would have been like, you know, this doesn't match what the menu says. You know, like I would have like probably just said something. If like you had a little muscle wrong. to back you up, you mean? <laughs> no. I'm just saying because I was sitting with him, it was almost like uncomfortable. Like, am I going to pick over like $2 each plate? Like, right. I don't know. Like, I just felt uncomfortable. Like, and then part of me was like, you dick, you pussy, stop being so uncomfortable. And then the other you part, of, I was like wanting to say something because it's like the right thing to do. But on the other hand, I was like, Am I gonna like really like fuss over this bill in front of this person like right now? Like, I never look at that. I don't know. I mean, like you go over the bill when you get a bill. I don't uh, really you know. Really uh, do that. Well, I don't. yeah, you should go over the bill when you get. A I, bill. I, you're right. I probably should, but I just I don't I don't I don't think I ever really do though. Now that you made me think about it, no, because I, I do. I go out to eat uh, quite often with Carol. We go out. You know, we don't have kids around all the time, so we go right. out a lot to eat and. Um, and every once in a while, I'll catch something. Right. And if I catch something, I know it's legit. But like so, some places add gratuity. No, right. this place didn't do that. That, that, yeah, that was something that threw me off one time. One time I was like, excuse me, you charged me way too much on this bill. Yeah. Was you like, added uh, 20%. Sir. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, that's the, there's, a, there's, a, there's an 18% gratuity added to you. Uh, right. oh, no, this oh, was sorry. just, it was nominal, well, you know. But... I tipped 28%. Right. So you just screwed yourself, <laughs> yeah, didn't you? <laughs> I bet right. you weren't thinking about that, there, smart ass. What were they doing? Three, uh, the, an extra, like, couple of bucks it per was egg? Like two, no, yeah, it was like $2 extra for the steak and eggs. And These then, are special eggs. And right. then my thing was like an <laughs> extra $4. I don't what? know. And then his orange juice was $10 for the glass. And I was, what? I know, like, I don't even know what the price was on the menu, but I was like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want it, like, nor, if it was you just you and me, I would have been like, what that? the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> Do you I get like know. a hand job with that? Like, well, what, know, what, like what, what, what the hell comes Christ. with a ten dollar glass yeah. of orange juice? Yeah, sir, orange juice and hand job. Yeah, really, I right? Know. I know. It was like I bet you get a happy ending again, it was with a lot, that, which was fine. Some places are expensive, and we have gone to plenty of them, and that's fine. But th- it's just that the bill was wrong. I felt like a dick to say something because I didn't want to seem like we were cheap. We're not. I just, on principle, I wanted to say it. Right. But I just felt like I didn't want to look cheap by doing it i think so i didn't say anything right. and then i was like annoyed at myself that i didn't because it's well the like, fact that i feel like i got uh, fucked tw- over 24 hours later you're still talking about it you must be you must be probably annoyed with yourself that you Fuck didn't you. Say- we have a podcast it's something to talk about no, that's what i'm saying like you know it must be bothering you because you know it's like uh, it would bother me i guess too I, it hasn't I, been festering all right no fester I'm just wondering. No, Hello. Fester's sitting right over there with the headphones on. Exciting and new. <laughs> climb aboard. He missed it. He totally missed it. Oh, I, I got it. Fester. I got it. Yeah, no, he's, no, he doesn't look like Fester. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't look like Fester now because he's growing in a little bit. I like that, man, by the way. I think 
<laughs> Joseph Kumi is looking pretty sharp over there. With a little bit of stubble on his head. Uh, you know what I did? I had to, I had to shave the goatee, the edge goatee that I that I sport for the YouTube band. Right. I had to shave it off for my Halloween costume. Oh, for Jai Gandhi. For Jai Gandhi. Right. I was Gandhi, and Gandhi, as you know, has a very light, tiny little mustache. Yeah. So I shaved everything else off. I've been told. I was told actually by my ex, who was a cunt. That uh, <laughs> really, that, you got one I of those too. Yeah, well, that <laughs> I that I um, that I that I look like Uncle Fester when I shave all my facial hair off because I have a bald head and my face is shaved clean. You really do. So though, I mean, I, well, it's only when I go like. like yeah, yeah, we well, yeah. do face. I mean, you make a facial expression when your eyes get real yeah. big. You totally look like yeah. right. The eyes big, well, yeah. now, now it's almost like all I have to do is grow the hair a little bit longer, and I'll have the skip do. Uh, and I'm gonna have like yeah. I'll have the you know kind of yeah, shorten the size beard, a little more on the top, and, yeah. and the even grub growth of a beard. Yeah, I just it's gotta shave like off my Adam's yeah. apple and shit. But <laughs> then you'll be Caitlin. But then I'll be you know, right. Oh, <laughs> But then, <laughs> I don't mean the Adams. I mean the hair <laughs> off of the Adams. I have a, I have a hairy oh, apple. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, it was it was almost like I was hoping you weren't going to come over and go. Oh look, it's like Joe's getting this single white female complex. Oh, God. Skip. Like look, a skip. I look just like you no. now. <laughs> I'm handsome too. <laughs> You look very handsome today, Joseph. Yes, you do. I saw, I saw Skip get a little wood when we walked in. I had uh, half a chub. Yeah, yeah. I had to, yeah. You did it for him. Yeah, Joe gets, you sparked up the chub. Uh, God. There you go. So, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to point out something <laughs> funny, which um, – he just now. turned the lights down, by the way, just before he went over there. They dimmed the lights, dimmed the lights, lights down a little bit. Yeah, feeling yeah. romantic. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm expecting the fucking like the yeah. the uh, the scented candles to come out in a minute. Maybe well, I'm a, sure. a glass of brosé. I know somebody who would like that. <laughs> brosé was awesome. Who would like that? Yeah. That would be. Uh, remember BB Mike W. Oh, BB Mike, who was uh, visiting the Temple of Cum. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, BB Mike W. w yeah. Well, I don't know what I don't know what prompted me to do it. I happened to just be looking on um, iTunes, and I was looking for BB Mike W. And I was like, "What happened to BB Mike that W?" That was the guy who slammed you on the on yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the and I was like, "What happened to BB Mike W?" And I'm like, "BB Mike W. Oh, BB Mike W. Changed his name since that podcast to Quiet." Mike W. Uh, no, I thought to myself, Oh, uh, Quiet Mike. Quiet Mike W. And I'm like, how stupid can you be? Because it still says Mike W. And it's still the same comment. So now it's Quiet Mike W. But what I found even more interesting and stupid of him was that he has even more of a history on the internet than he did before. Oh, if he only knew who he was. So uh, if he wow. only knew, I she, mean. She's like, she, she'll dude, you dig, You can't man. get away who, with anything. No, she's the investigator. Who the fuck knew oh, no, 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 that no. Mike Wilhelm Wilhelm, 29, who lives in Orangevale, California, and works as a technician at Folsom Lake Honda. He is on Plenty of Fish, which is a dating website. He's looking for love, but he doesn't have any. Um, first of all, it might part of the problem might be that you are surfing on Temple of Cum. Um, the for other, love in all the wrong genders. He, yeah. The other <laughs> reason. For love in all the wrong places. The other reason, quiet Mike, why you are not finding love is because because um, it's quiet. You're a miserable cunt. Speak up, motherfucker. Uh, you're so consumed. With negativity that you feel the need to write mean-spirited things about someone who you don't even know. Oh, quiet, And in the same Mike. sentence, you proclaim to, like, skip, yet you disrespect him by disrespecting his wife That's in a public right, forum. That's right, quiet, Mike. We can't stand for that. No, no, no. We don't like it when uh, Skip's wife gets disrespected. And um, Well, you know, uh, in speaking in his defense, quiet, Mike, it is kind of t hard to talk when you have a dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I just became very clear to me that I, 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 no one would hook up with him. And the reason he is so lonely is because he has a shitty personality and lots of uh, negativity. But he's clearly so jealous right, well, uh, and envious of our love that he will never have, that he is, like, taking out all of his frustrations on women who will not have him on me. Uh, because I have clearly never done anything to harm uh, BB Mike W, a.k.a. Quiet Mike W, no. a.k.a. Just Mike think, Wilhelm. Just think, until he made all of those nasty comments about you, you didn't even know that he existed. But, I know, I didn't. But now you do. Yep, yep, yep. Wilhelm. Yep. So no matter how much he thinks he's like you by building fences, adopting dogs, going to the gym, all things that he likes to do, he clearly does not have the character that you do, uh -huh. and he will never have the character that you do because he's a miserable, whiny cunt. Well, we have spent a lot and of that time. That character is Allison. Yes. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Well, thanks so, for the uh, thanks for that, quiet Mike. Yeah, and, so maybe uh, you'll we have wish a, you well. Yeah, we wish you well on whichever um, side of the uh, table you choose to peruse. I wonder why he's going to come up dead, Mike. W. <laughs> oh God. I mean, okay, I can take an insult, and I'm I'm fine with it. I just found it mean spirited. Well, you do look me. a little like a dude. I mean, that's what I we do. usually hear, right? I I am a dude. Right. I, I mean, am. That, I'm, right, I'm going, right. You, you, yeah. Yeah, you are. No, I'm going. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm going What's to going my on over there? Well, he's just standing up. Okay, Joe's like, like he Joe, was straining. What's he doing? He no, he's tra- not. He's What's he doing? He's he was straining. Tra- his little, his little I asshole is puckering. I saw the <laughs> asshole puckering, and I can't. Kilo, I can't Kilo just got up and studio. started doing a fucking circle. No, he just went outside. Gag. He didn't st- circle. Oh, all right. He didn't circle. He's he just, just stood up. up. But, but the guy, the guy's so old. I, I'm, and I, look, I can't even look at you when I talk about Kilo. He's on the blanket. The guy though. is so he is he's a- so old. No. That his legs were shaking when he stood up, and that's kind of like indicative of having to take a take a dump, take no. a doggy Even dump. Even if he did, though, I mean, it would only be like a really? tootsie. You got to see how I the, shake when I have to take a dump. Me too. <laughs> we had a very traumatic thing happen over the last few days with Kilo. Kilo was was really, I mean, it was really bad. He had gotten an abscess um, in his tooth, and for, this is for the second time in a month, and he was on antibiotics. His face swelled up so bad three uh. days ago that I had to rush him to the emergency. And it he was like out, totally blown out, like yeah, the top his of his head connected red, to his neck. It was swollen. just like, <laughs> and like so I took big. him to the ophthalmologist because his eye was was look, it looked like it was a problem with his eye, and as it turned out, it was a problem with his tooth. And so thank God the uh, the dentist, the veterinary dentist, was there. His tooth to to take a quick peek at him, and he was basically telling us that it was very dangerous and because he's of his age and he needed to have the tooth removed but of course his age was a factor in, and that's in, when they came out Joe and we, they were like alright well just want to let you know we, we think we can fix the problem mm-hmm. uh, you know we're going to be able to do it and um, we're going to get started with the surgery right now and the girl's going to come in in a minute and just take care of your paperwork okay so she comes in with a piece of paper and she's like alright on the low side of the, it, it you know it starts out at like 29.45 and then it could be as much as like you know 49, 49.50 <laughs> he remembers the number <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking like is she saying 29 for like dollars or like a hundred or what 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 do you mean oh no for yeah 4900 i was like oh okay and i'm like whatever you got to do to fix my baby yeah i mean obviously you would have done whatever you got to do but i was like wow so they ended up having emergency <laughs> surgery goes, yeah. actually and i was like Crying all the night before, crying the morning of. I was like, I couldn't contain myself because I was thinking this might be the last night that I spent with him because mm. he was 14, you know, and he had to have this surgery. And if he had, they were worried about fistulas going, like holes going up between his mouth into his eye socket. But as it turned out, long story short, they pulled out a few teeth, which were bad, but he didn't have to have any fistula Does he have little surgery. chihuahua dentures yeah. now? No, he no he's got nothing. No, but he's been. <laughs> he's, he's old like, gums, he's, man. He's like a different. So you still play Mama Bird with he's him. He's different now. Yeah, he's. Yeah. But he's like almost like I can like younger right now. He actually, I think he Feeling must better. have been having some pain even before the infection because he just seems. Yeah, well, the happier. whole side of his face was swollen, so oh, it must it must have been like yeah. If you, I mean, you you oh, had yeah. a toothache like that. I mean, have you ever had Your a toothache whole before? Face but swell oh, out. My, God. my lead singer did. I actually have a picture of it. <laughs> oh, good God! Oh, there is no worse tell. pain than than a really bad toothache. I oh mean, yeah, you want to kill yourself. I've had like impacted wisdom I teeth and you. i i recall one night i actually i, I thought i was going to die like i was pacing back and forth in the middle of the night because i didn't know what to do like should i go to the emergency room like what am i going to do it's one o'clock in the morning and i was in screaming pain you know like you like someone sticking some an heinous, ice pick heinous dental stories i have one quick one i had to have my molars i, I had my uh, my wisdom teeth on the top pulled i still have the bottom ones by the way because i'm nice and wide jawed Oh. But I have, but I have, I had the top ones pulled. One side came out no problem. I had them do it all at once, right? Because they were they were decayed. They were really bad. They were hurting. I actually had like you know, like a toothache in, right. in both of them at one point. I was a kid. Yeah. I was like maybe uh, twenty two, twenty three, and one of them came out no problem. The other one, I'm kicking back in this dentist chair, and he had me so numb I felt nothing. He had like you know, shitload of novocaine in me, and all of a sudden. He's like working on the other one. The second one, the first one came right out. And I hear a crack, a real loud Mm. crack. I'm like, he goes, "Uh uh-oh. The Uh dentist looks at me and goes, "Uh uh-oh. And when you're a doctor, when your dentist says, "Uh uh-oh, you ever want to hear going on. Now, I couldn't feel anything. I was completely Uh numb. And he goes, and he sticks three fucking fingers in my (gasps) mouth. And he's going, okay, hold still, hold still. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I still have the tooth. I'll have to show it to you guys after the show. 
the roots were wrapped around the bone to a point where he couldn't wiggle it loose. And my and from smoking back then, my upper jawbone was so weak, he cracked a chunk of the fucking bone <gasps> right out with the tooth. And oh. I still have it. Uh oh. I have it upstairs. The most disgusting thing. A it's piece a tooth of your with a piece of my jawbone uh -oh. right from the uh, upper left side. It it ended up well, long story short. That sounds he like goes, a okay. Time. He goes, we're okay. We didn't breach the sinus cavity. He goes, oh, the sinus mm. cavity's still there. Otherwise, you end up with like, like lifelong problems with infected sinuses. And he goes, the, uh, <laughs> you know, this is a nice story, isn't it? Yeah. And I he love goes, this story. Uh, I'm going to have to stitch it. He stitched it up. The weeks following, it was like two weeks following. Painful? No. No, the pain was not. Um. The pain was negligible. It was like hardly, I, I couldn't, you know, I'm good with pain, though. It was, wasn't a problem. He didn't even give me any prescription drugs. It was like a Coke Tylenol or something. And uh, Coke, co Tylenol. Yeah, co oh, I'm like, he took Coke and like, Tylenol. Tylenol and codeine. Coke Tylenol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the poor man's speedball. The poor, poor man's speedball. But I, uh, but I ended up, uh, it, it, it ended up like the, 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 the skin. Oh, this is gross because I remember it. The flesh became necrotic. What he had is the way he had dead. to stitch it. Dead. My fucking breath. Oh. Oh. I could knock over a room full of fucking maggots. Oh I swear to God, it was the worst thing. And it was when we first started, when me and Anthony first started going on uh, O&A, when we started going on uh, Opie's show. Oh. Just horrendous, man. It was oh. friggin' horrible. Oh, God. I mean, it was, uh, so yeah, I had to be older than that. I had to be 30. Dude, you know, I, I, can, I, I can smell it in my mind. It was death. <laughs> It was it was death from I'm, I'm smelling your breath just in my in my brain right it was now death and I'm from like, your mouth. Oh god. It was just the oh, most yeah. horrendous thing. But anyway, yeah, oh. that's my that's my dental story. Oh. You have any painful dental stories? No. no, no. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I've had tooth pain before that make it, that you want to kill yourself. It's bad. It's like the worst. Yeah, it pain. travels right up the side of your yeah. head. It'll tooth be unbearable. Pain. Yeah, you know, even like I, mean, I think probably the only the worst pain like for a guy is probably getting solid kick in the balls, kidney stones. Oh yeah, trust kid, me, kidney stones. Kidney or stone. a rock coming out of your dickhead. That's yeah. what. Oh yeah, yeah, stones, yeah, when you yeah. fire a uh, little chunk of glass out of the end of your dick. Oh, that fucking shit. Yeah, that's another thing. Like oh. that, that's crazy pain. Um, and, and, and even the, you know, the kick to the nuts is crazy, but that goes away after five or ten minutes. The toothache, man, will, Just will stay with you and it throbs and it, it gets worse and worse to the point that you actually go insane. Like you, Because you know it's getting worse by the oh, yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. And then you start to wonder how much more of this can I take? Yeah. Like what, what am I going to do? Do you know what actually causes the pain of a toothache? You know what makes... The tooth hurt actually makes the, your head hurt that bad. I mean, I've had toothaches that have gone down to my nuts. <laughs> I mean, it fucking hurts so bad, especially the ones on the bottom. It'll go, like, right down my neck, yeah, up the side of your head. It's but bad. do you know what causes that pain, that exquisite fucking excruciating pain? What's that? My dad just explained it to me. When a tooth becomes decayed, it creates gases, mm -hmm. and those gases build up like mini farts. That's pretty much what it is, <laughs> and they build up and they and they pressure the nerve. Mouth. They put pressure on the nerve, especially when it's under a filling. If you have a toothache under a filled tooth, mm. it's the worst because the gas has no way of escaping. Yeah. When you when the gas can escape, it relieves the pressure on the nerve, thereby relieve. That's why sometimes when you squeeze down, like. When you bite down hard on a toothache, it'll alleviate the pain for a minute or two, a um, couple of minutes. Yeah. That's why. And then it's worse when you when you uh, undo uh, the pressure. I just remember worse. drinking to get rid of it. I, I remember shit. drinking bottles of Ambisol. Like I, I went, uh, it's like, oh, right, right. You had a story, right, with the Ambisol? Amb no, you glued your own tooth to get, or something, like, right? What no, did you do? You glued gonna, something? It, it, the, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, yeah. You, can, you can buy, like, in a, in, a, in a CVS or wherever. They make, like, it's actually the stuff that they use in dentists to make a, t a temporary filling. Oh, yeah, 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 I've used Temporarily I've filling. I've used it, yeah, when I'm filling. Yeah, you, like, yeah. mix it up in the little container, seat. and they give you, right. like, a little wooden thing. And, you, and So I remember having a tooth that was so bad one night in the middle of the night that I actually, when I, I went to the, uh, the the 24 hour drugstore and got this bottle of Ambisol, anything that would numb that pain. Yeah. And next to that, on the same display, was this little stuff that said, like, you know, like a built in filling. And I had been to the dentist, like, a, a couple of days before, and they said, we have to wait. You have, like, an infection. I have to wait for it to go away. They put me in antibiotics, or whatever. And he said, you're going to need that tooth. It's going to have to be repaired. And we have to fill that hole. That's why you, you, anytime air goes in it or whatever, right. even when I breathed, it was like, oh, yeah, God, yeah, it's killing yeah. me. Yeah. So I got this bright idea. Let me get this shit. 
I'm gonna mi- I'm gonna try to pack it in the I'm gonna pack it just trapping all that gas. Oh well, dude, I, I I was I was desperate at that point. I, I would I did it, oh. it was like mixing a bondo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, yeah, I'm looking at, I'm looking in the mirror and I got a light and I'm trying to put this shit in my tooth that's already feeling like someone like you know, was driving a screw into the side of my head. I was de- I was totally desperate. It was that bad. It was like Tom Hanks on that island. Wilson, yes, Wilson. yeah, like knocked yeah. the tooth it's, out of his head. Uh, it is temporary insanity. Yeah. You that will gets go so insane. bad. Yeah. I mean, like uh, you, you saw uh, uh, the Tom Hanks movie with Wilson. Yeah, with that yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that it gets that bad yeah. where you just want to knock the fucking thing out of your head. You, you yeah. will do anything to get rid of the pain. I had a friend, no shit, my friend Bill Brady, who I've known since we were kids. He actually took a pair of vice grips and pulled his own tooth. Oh, my God. He took a pair of vice grips. You know, I saw some uh, some guy pay for a pack of cigarettes like that recently. Huh? Oh, wait, no, that was a commercial on TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, this guy, this guy, he actually did. He had a tooth that was cracked. Oh, it was God. rotted. It was really bad. And when oh. we were kids, he went in there with vice grips, clamped down on it, and oh. pulled the fucking thing right out. Oh, good God. Yep. What was the movie where they had little, um, like, um, who pulled out his fucking tooth because they were tracking him? With the the uh, he was like in an old hotel room. Oh, he thought he had like uh, some. Was, uh, yeah. like oh, a, I know it was. Um, was it Twelve Monkeys with um, Bruce Willis? Twelve Monkeys. I think it was yeah. Twelve, yeah. 12 yeah. Monkeys. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He thought he had some sort of yeah. fillings or something. Was in that, his, like, that like was GPS in the box. No, no, that no, 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 that was no. seven. Seven, yeah. right. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the fucking box? <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> Come on. And then it's his wife's head, right? Yeah. That was the most fucked uh, up. I don't know movie. how they got Gwyneth's head back on. What's oh. in the box? <laughs> oh, so. Oh, God. <laughs> craziness. Oh, uh, well. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Two, yeah. yeah. That's, that, let's, let's talk about two things. <laughs> Fuck no. All I know is that when I was in the store the other day in Home Depot to get the stuff for that Fox demo, I'm looking around and there was Christmas shit everywhere. Uh, the whole store is covered. It was Halloween last week. Like, it's like, what, it's what, not even yeah. Thanksgiving. Do yet. we even, I was just going to say, do we even, do we skip over Thanksgiving now? Like, what, what is happening? Yeah. Yeah, there was, who was it? They're playing Somebody... Christmas music and shit. I'm like, really? Yeah. It's fucking, it's it's November, like, first week of November. Yeah, so this guy on, um, on, on I'm just looking at, the, by coincidence, I was, I was looking for the uh, listener questions. This guy, Jerry, Jeremy Michaels, showed a picture of somebody's minivan that has reindeer decorations on it. Oh, like come on, It's got a man. fucking nose on the front, oh. and it's got antlers on the top of the minivan. Have really? Ever... Already? <laughs> like a <laughs> minivan isn't gay enough. <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> 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 Skip's oh, last uh, girl ho was driving a minivan my around, and I was like, "There's no fucking way! I won't even with my fucking gun, fucking pepper spray, ex- uh, a fucking expandable baton. I will not drive the work minivan ever, <laughs> yeah. ever." It's, yeah. It's, what do they give you? The Crown Vicks or some other bullshit? Yeah. You it, drive yeah sometimes, like when they're out of commission, you know, there's the minivan. No, the fucking minivan is to cars. What the yarmulke is to hats. <laughs> like these. <laughs> It's the most unintimidating hat. It is the most unintimidating hat, and that is the worst, most least intimidating vehicle there is on the road. Oh, Sorry, God. ladies. The but The minivan's not working. It. I, yeah, I know it's working for you and the kids. But well, I tell you what, if, cool you got, if you got a posse full of kids, man, like the, it, it's like a bus. You, you need the bus. She'd know. You need the bus. Man. What are you going to do? You know? If you already have the piece of ass to put in the minivan and get laid, a minivan is the vehicle to get laid in. What? No, my Murano was. Oh yeah. When, when that thing doesn't have junk in it, you put those back seats down. Getting... It was like having the fucking motel room. You're not getting the ass if you're driving the van, but if you already have the ass, right. you want the van to get laid in. <laughs> That's the way it works. When the kids aren't in it. When the kids aren't in it. Right. Well, you, then you got to pull the five baby well, seats out. On the fucking yeah, like you have time to do all of that with the fucking five kids. I don't kids think the kids are with. listening. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy's yeah. just no, helping was... me. Mommy's just helping me. I'm about to buckle, buckle in my, my pulling up my zipper. Yeah, <laughs> Daddy had a pee. That fucking reminds me of um, with the uh, when I was just talking about uh, asshole in the minivan and the fucking um, uh, pussy guy uh, on iTunes with his uh, online dating. Did you ever you ever do online dating? No. You Joe? No. BB Pussy Guy W. Is that his name? <laughs> 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 I've never done online dating. I've I've 
cruised the internet to uh, to make some connections, but never an official site where I had to like pay. No, no, I don't know anything about it. Oh, oh, no, you were just busy dating someone who was doing online dating while you were with her. Yes, yeah. she this fucking <laughs> bitch asked to borrow his camera. And took pictures of herself to put on Match.com. <laughs> yeah. Skip's camera. People wow. do. People do nice things. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I really don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know anything Maybe about. says something really good about Skip's camera. That's why that dumb cunt Skip. is left behind. I, I don't know anything about uh, online dating. I just don't like it when my girlfriends go on. <laughs> <laughs> If you got a really good camera or a really bad dick. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, no. Really dumb douche. Uh, Hello. Uh, that's that's uh, more some likely Some fucking cunts are never satisfied. Uh, Chris, this cunt is. Chris, yeah. yeah. I, got, I got a cunt now that's very satisfied. It's the best cunt around. Some cunts aren't satisfied until you get the wee-haw, wee-haw. Yeah. Oh, honey, I love you. I got, I got, the, I got the top bitch. The mule Aww. show. So holiday stuff already in the stores. I, I really, I, I am. It's I'm perplexed. Whoa! What the Ew. hell is that? Oh! Oh, he's so cool. cool. <laughs> You've got to describe this, but this is, is like a golf ball the in same his thing. cheek. That's the same thing that, is that uh, Gene? poor little. Yeah, yes, that's, that's exactly what Kilo oh had. My, I, I, poor I, little Kilo I, had. I, I had to ask because I almost didn't even yeah, recognize. Him. Holy God! Him. Looks like he got a baseball that's in his face. With a friggin' with an abscess. Yeah, that's wow. just abscess. Oh man, <laughs> it's kind of hard to sing like that. That's when he called you up and said, oh, "Joe, I, I saw this. No, this is when he wasn't in the he wasn't in the band at all. And I saw this. I'm like. Oh boy, yeah, heading downhill quick. No. Oh. Thanksgiving though, it, it's like it's like we're skipping over Thanksgiving now. I think, right? We're going right from Halloween to Christmas now. Yes. Yeah. Well, as far as in the stores, yeah, I didn't really. It seemed like all that stuff was on sale already. Like all the fall stuff is now on sale. In yeah, favor but like, of like, all the no one, shit. no one, even watch the TV commercials and stuff. Like, no one's talking about like Thanksgiving. It's just like straight to Christmas. It's just straight. That's it. Straight to Christmas. Well, um, well, then what are you getting me? Have you started shopping yet? You ain't nothing. Nothing. You get nothing. You don't get anything. <laughs> Where are we doing Thanksgiving this year, by the way? Are we, are we, are we like, even having – usually we're, like, we're not around for the holidays or something. I know last year we had it at mm-hmm. – uh, where at did we – At our house. At our house we had it last year. Yeah. That's pretty bad, but I don't even remember where we yeah. had it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to – I think I, we're going to do it again. Are we doing it again at our house? Yeah, so that we don't have to drive. Who's cooking? We all are. Everybody's Everybody cooking? Everybody brings something. Everybody's – who's doing the, the bird, the turkey? Usually yeah. um, my mom – Makes it, right? Which is fine by me. She does a good job though with that. Yeah, fine. I don't really like turkey anyway, so I like all the sides, everything. It t- else, yeah, it's but. like it's it's like a whole production making the the, the bird and like we yeah. had to cook it for like four five hours or some yeah, shit, right? I'm not, I'm not oh, I got a big business. big Italian get together, and we have uh, we normally have turkey and ham. They'll make a ham so turkey like, uh, and yeah, one, one of those, yeah, no, tur- turkey and ham. Usually, it's a uh, nice. one of those honey baked uh, ham deals. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, those are really good. Yeah, the hams are good. People, the people uh, do the ham thing like for Easter and stuff too, right? Yeah. That's a yeah. big Easter meal. I remember when I was a kid, um, speaking of turkeys, it just reminded me of a turkey story. Uh, we're, having th- <laughs> we're having Thanksgiving dinner and we had like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You have it on your <laughs> What the hell? What are you guys laughing? I don't you know. You didn't get phone. it yet. But you have it on your phone, too. You didn't get it yet? It's Joe just sent us a picture, oh a text god. with a picture in it. You got to put this no, on the I, on your site. I will. Oh, my God. It's I didn't, so I didn't see it. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Look at it. I my never phone. laughed so fucking hard at something. No, I didn't get any picture. I laughed until I didn't oh, get any picture. Here, take a look at mine. This is good stuff. <laughs> Read it out it? loud. It's how to disable a female racist that Ra- wants Ra- 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 <laughs> my head is female rapist that wa- that wants to steal your precious seed, and it got pictures of these scantily clothed people, and this and the instructions are first you hoof her right in the front butt, in the front right, butt, hoof her, hoof her right in the front butt, and then grab grab yank and twist. Her dirty pillows until she runs away. <laughs> okay, it's the pictures that are so funny. Oh, the pictures it's are hysterical. Yeah, the, the guy, the guy's like kicking her in the crotch, <laughs> and then the second one is he's like doing like a titty twister on her. <laughs> ah, the titty twister, like, like, like a double nurple. <laughs> oh my god, I saw this thing and I laughed so hard. And the first, I don't know why, but the first thing I thought of was you two guys. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I said a seventh. I mean, more, more for the for the website. You got to put that on your website. It's hysterical. Look what he look. This guy's got right. like an. Uh, uh, what is that? He's wearing the a thong. Titty twister. That's what I kind of thought. I don't know, like, like maybe like a wrestling uh, oh, God. attire. That I don't know. Good. Thank you very much. I have to put that on the website. <laughs> That's just funny. Welcome to the Titty Twister. Oh, God. Oh, you we know got what? big pussy. Oh, my we God. have small pussy. Dude, you remember pussy. that, man? Oh, we look. Got Skip just made me watch that on, just, on, yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, I, was just show, right? I love that I was movie. just showing that to you the other day, yeah. right? And you know, they came out with a it's show, too. Smelly pussy. Dust Till Dawn, they came out with a series. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, it was great. I saw this. I saw the first season. It was amazing. Oh, based on the movie, oh. it was it was great. I mean, Clooney and uh, and Tarantino tore it up in the movie. Who was they they, uh, that? Was a long time ago. They looked really young. Yeah, no, they were. yeah, oh, no, that was an shit. awesome movie. Back a long time ago. Yeah, from dusk to dawn. But I love the way that they're doing. Like they're, they're making all these uh, series out of movies. Like it used to go the other way around. And they're having movie stars in these TV yeah, shows oh, yeah, now yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah always. Yeah. Well, they just had a. Uh, they just started with. Um, I just saw the first two episodes on Stars of. Uh, of Ash versus the Evil Dead. Have what you ever that? seen have you ever seen the Evil Dead series, no. the Evil Dead trilogy? No. Bruce Campbell? No. No, no. Oh. It's on stars. Check out the first two episodes. It's freaking hysterical. It's a it's comedy horror, but it's great. It's it's uh, I'll I'll leave it at that. It's amazing. <laughs> so, it's wait, wait, hold on, wait. I just found it. <laughs> I found it. Wait, you ready? Ash versus Evil Dead. Hold on a second. You got to listen. This is, this is Cheech Marin standing outside the Titty Twister. When, when people are walking up, going, yeah, if you haven't seen Dust of Dawn, you're standing outside this big... Uh... Press play already. I'm good, all right. Now you wait too long, because then it's going to take a second to start up. See, this is what happens. All right, pussy, 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 come on in, pussy lovers. Here at the Titty Twister, we're slashing pussy in half. Give us an offer on our best selection of pussy. This is a pussy blowout. All right, we got white pussy, black pussy, Spanish pussy, yellow pussy. We got hot. Take two. We got smelly pussy. <laughs> and the face he made. Smelly pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a great movie. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. So, what's going on over there, Bedell? Um, well, I wanted to. Uh, I haven't haven't given a uh, a recommendation for something Ooh, that, recommendation. that I was like severely uh, obsessed with lately, and um, it occurred to me now with the your holidays, latest obsession. Yes, with the holidays, I was like severely obsessed with this that I bought so many of it, um, and I've since given it to mom because I, w- I I I was using it too much. But these things come in, in handy all year fucking You were abusing it? I was abusing it. <laughs> it is... I still don't um, know what the fuck you're talking about, but okay. Um, it's the food saver the, uh, with, with, the, with the sealed bags. Oh, the, good the vacuum God. vacuum seal bags. Dude, dude, she'd fucking vacuum seal everything, man. Yeah. It's, it's like every, everything in the refrigerator, vacuum but sealed. But the shit works, okay? Yeah, Just you got for, really carried away with that yeah. fucking thing for a while there. Yeah. It was like, seriously, she would like vacuum seal like, like a piece of salad. <laughs> it, 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 like, like a piece of fucking lettuce. I'm like, what is it? Take out like a plastic it's square. Good for the next year. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you though. I don't know if we had already mentioned it, but we had um, vacuum sealed the leftover of our wedding cake from our our wedding party from years ago. Okay, so it, it was uh, Ju- June was three years since yeah. our, the party that we had at our house. Yeah. So I took first I took the cake and I put it into the freezer so that it would harden first. Because, you know, if you put something soft inside it and then vacuum seal it out, it'll squish. So I put it in the freezer first to get hard, and then I vacuum sealed this giant piece. We just cut it open about a month or two ago, and we ate it with his sister. And uh, Three years later. The really? Same, it, was like we, it, it was like it was just baked. Wow. It was Fucking, crazy. As, yeah. as delicious as it was the night of the party. Was it was Maybe amazing. we should do that with pussy. <laughs> pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> vacuum seal pussy. No more stinky pussy. <laughs> We no, got it, we got vacuum seed pussy. <laughs> when I pick <laughs> when I pick all of the raspberries and the blackberries um, from around our in our garden and everything every year, and I put those in a freezer like on a cookie sheet to freeze them individually. I put them into the the vacuum yeah. bag. 
they're, they're in there for years. Tomatoes in the freezer. Is for that what years. happened? You actually gave that. I was wondering what. Yeah, because now things I can actually. Because she needed to borrow it. I can open something up and yeah. eat it without having to cut it open <laughs> with a pair of scissors. <laughs> but you know what? It really fucking works. It works for me. It happened quickly too. It was like boom. Somebody flipped the switch off, and everything yeah. in the refrigerator started to look normal again. Yeah. I'm like what? Yeah, I was wondering. Because she needed to borrow it, and she liked it a lot, so I said keep it. Oh, good, keep it. But which is good Don't for me because back. now there's even newer versions of the food saver <laughs> where you can use less bag, like good. it gets. The, the seal closer yeah. to the edge because you can buy either individual bags for it right. or you can buy a roll where you cut your own individual size bags as you need them. But it used to have like an inch from the edge where it would hot seal it. Right. Now it's much closer to the edge so you can conserve more bag. You ah. can even clean them and reuse them. But it really fucking works to, pr- to protect bag things. Usage. Yeah, especially if you're going to use the freezer, it really keeps things fresh. So I'm highly, highly Highly recommending the food saver, especially with this time of year with, you know, all the leftovers and shit. It, you can definitely keep it fresher much hmm. longer. And it, it does not get freezer burn. It works. Burn. Uh, it I'll give work. you that. It works. You know what you also tripped down on there for a while was the fucking brother P-Touch, man. She started fucking <laughs> labeling. Oh, look around the studio. She fucking, yeah. Look around the studio. She <laughs> fucking labeled everything, man. Yep. I, I, I mean, like, I, I was in the bathroom and, and there was a label that says toilet paper. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> what the fuck? What? There was a thing over the toilet handle that said flush. I'm like, come, come on. Like, really? I put it on Carol's abdomen. You know what it said? <laughs> pussy! Yeah, pussy! 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 <laughs> you put one up at the top and said tits. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> With an arrow. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm Brother just going to... I'm just going to assist people in putting a link to that fucking awesome product on our website because it is amazing. And really, you can eat... Your Thanksgiving turkey, put it in the freezer. Six months later, it's like you just had Thanksgiving. Wow. It's as tasty and fresh as it was when you made it. I don't know that I'd want to eat the turkey six months later. I mean, then you go through that phase it's with everything. Exactly turkey sandwich every day. It's like the turkey leftover. That's why six months later, motherfucker, so you're not sick of it. <laughs> you know, that's a great idea, though. I mean, making those uh, packages, up, especially if you're looking to, like, you know, cut cut some weight. If you're looking to drop some weight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can, like, cook all at once. Right. Make yourself something, you know, like yeah. healthy and reasonable. Yeah. And just stack them in your freezer. You can have a Pre- month's so worth you of food. Free packaged out. meals. Right. Yeah. You know they have like a lot of companies do that now, like these fitness companies where they, they send you like pre packaged meals. Why not you do know, them so, yourself? And, like that's yeah, what, yeah exactly. So you know, DIY you put, man, you cut down your portion sizes, you know, and you just put it in there, and that's it. You take a package and you're good. Yeah. Right? Throw some vegetables. Some yep. Allison Bedell on Fox News. Yeah, there you go. DIY. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the next segment's going to be why, you. Why buy from uh, Why buy from health companies? That's right. You That's can, right. You can do it yourself. Make it healthy yourself and preserve it, and you just yeah. don't need to spend the extra. Wrap money. it up, and then so you know what it is. You it put is, the Brother yep. P Touch label right on the top. I love that. this fucking product. That's oh, right. sorry, Elizabeth. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm not allowed to use that. Listen, oh, all you fuck, live? I mean people. It's yeah. live, son of a bitch, motherfucker. Oh, sh- I'm sorry. Oh shit. I, oh, fu- I. I can see you standing next yeah. to Elizabeth uh, Hasselbeck. She's yeah, all like yeah. proper and shit, and you'd be like, "And this fucking thing really works good. Yeah. You should try it out, Elizabeth." Yep, yep, yep. She look at her like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> live, live TV. She would. No dump button. Oh, oh yeah. my good lord. She yeah, she's very nice though. So. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, a little too nice for that. Baby, did you want is to she answer? one of the is she one of the hot blondes on that on on Fox? She's the like the only hot blonde. She no, 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 there's several. There's a couple of there's good. There's a couple, look, but a couple I think, of good I don't looking know, I girls. I think she's the pr- she's the prettiest. She has a great smile. Oh God, I made that nice picture because on the they have a big poster inside of Fox there with the three faces almost set up like the Brady Bunch. They got. They got a Hasselbeck's face, and then they got Brian's face, and they got that other guy, uh, yeah. Ducey, I think is the name, his face. So and there's an empty spot. So I had Skip squat down next to the poster so I could take a picture of him, and so he's the fourth face. I said, look up at the corner, like with the Brady Bunch, and he did, and it looks, <laughs> yeah. he looks just like You know what's funny? Yeah. As you're walking around the studio, and you're like in the green room or wherever, as you, you know, you, they can just let you mill around wherever you want mm-hmm. uh, in between doing the segments, and you see all the people that come off doing different segments, so, you know, the weather person, this, this girl, that sure. girl, whatever, and they're just walking around talking to everybody just whatever going to the coffee machine and and you're right there are a couple of very attractive women and, and even like the guys just everybody's dressed up in a suit and stuff and it's funny because um I was, we're sitting there in the green room like just minutes before that one of them was sitting right down next to us just watching the program just like we were and then i look up at the tv the next time and like there she is like on like doing the next news report or whatever hmm. but yeah elizabeth is the one that came out with me yesterday yeah yeah nice. very nice very nice very nice um, can i do a a question for you? Yeah. Yeah, we got about two. Oh, yeah. We got about... Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit a new question. Um, oh, listener questions. Listener questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just looking for a, uh, one that you... 
uh, would like. Mm, oh, okay. this is okay. No, because I, I there's, some of them are um, not like DIY related, and I'll, I'll hit those after. I have one that I have to answer uh, when, whenever you don't have one because okay. a guy asked me uh, a question that I wanted to get to. And, hit uh, it. It's uh, from Matt Banaszek, and he asked how to seal up his basement because as a basement right now is unfinished, that he wants to eventually turn into a man cave. And who doesn't want a man cave, right? I mean, I, I have right now a man tent, and soon to be <laughs> hopefully one day a man cave when I build the garage. Yeah, jo- we're, we're sitting, sitting in, in Joseph in Kumi's man, man cave right now. And this, by the way, is the ultimate musician's man cave because yeah. you have like 30 guitars hanging on the wall. Like this is a sick recording studio, so... Props to you, Joe Cumia. Thanks, sir. So, yeah, he wants to know. Uh, so, eventually, you originally started out with just concrete walls. This here, right? was yeah. a big concrete, concrete hole in the ground. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it. like most basements oh, are. Concrete. This basement. Yeah, yeah. This, you know, foundation walls and yeah. a concrete slab on the floor. So, what do you do to make that dry enough that you can finish it and put up drywall and carpeting and whatever it is you want to put down there? So there's a great product out there called Dry Lock, uh, and I recommend it to people. We always use that whenever we do uh, finished basement jobs. Before we do any framing, any building, any finishing, we always dry lock all of the concrete. This is a product you can buy in Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store, any place that sells paint for the most part. And the whole purpose of it is that you roll it on, and it absorbs into the concrete, and it creates a seal on that concrete. So moisture is not going to get in through the concrete, especially through the foundation walls, where many times you can see damp spots on the walls. And even sometimes on the floor, you'll see damp spots in the concrete because concrete is porous. And much uh, to the contrary of what people might believe, it's not waterproof. And water will seep through it. So especially if you have a lot of water on the outside of your house that's up against that concrete foundation, it will seep through. Um, so look at dry lock, Matt. That's an excellent product. And also, if you're getting water into your basement, the first thing you want to do is find out why you're getting into it. So that's a whole other topic. But real quickly, two things you can look for. Make sure all your gutters and leaders are working properly, and the leaders have downspouts and uh, you know turnaways on the bottom of them. So when the water comes down the leader from the roof, uh, you have an extension on that, and it gets out farther enough away from the house that it's not running down along the foundation wall, and that's going to let it seep into it. Also, make sure the property around your house where the dirt connects up against your foundation is graded with a positive pitch or a downward pitch away from the house so the water runs down away from the house. If you can correct those two things, most likely you're not going to have any water in your basement to begin with. But before you start doing any construction, definitely dry lock the whole place. All right. Thank you for that, Skip Adele. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, then, with that being said, I'm going to take it to like a non-DIY type question from oh. John Perlow. What's your take on both partners getting their nut during sex? Yeah, man. For the longest time, I was selfish enough to just worry about me till the women I was with were self-aware enough to help out a little. My current wife says she always got hers unless she wasn't in the mood. She doesn't believe me that a lot of women are just happy enough that their man gets his. I bring this up because I know of no one more dedicated to making their man happy than Allison. Damn straight. (laughs) <laughs> I That's was just right. going to say that, but thank you. You don't even, you, you won't even let me quit until that happens. You're like, oh no, no, no you're going to keep going. Yeah, <laughs> That's only fair though. I mean, uh, that, that, that. Uh, no, I, but, but making their man happy. No, I think you heard it back. <clears throat> no, no, I, I heard the question. I, I, I know what the question was. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So go ahead. No, no, no. Let, let but no it. one's more dedicated to making their man happy than I am. Yeah. So like, yeah, yes. yeah. 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 We so, all got that. Uh, yeah, I'm, but, I'm agreeing with you. But you're good also in the reverse. Well, I think that's only fair, right? And I usually like to make that happen first. I like ah, you, I like you to you. go first. Yeah. Yeah. I think See, that, I am just like Skip. <laughs> See? I have his hair. I have his dick. I got everything. You copy me, <laughs> Joseph. You don't have his ball bag. You no. copy me, Joseph. No, mine is, mine's just a little bit older. Mine's, mine's a vintage. I have a Joe, vintage ball bag. Joe's but. been doing bird baths for too long. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a bird bath is, tell them what a bird bath is, Joe. It's when you have a nut sack that stretches out big enough that in the shower you can fill it with water and then just bounce your flaccid penis up and down in the skin. (laughs) (laughs) It looks like a little birdie taking a bath. <laughs> splashes around, splashes oh, around. I'm Splash having a visions birdie. of that, man. Splashing it's like really happily. fucking disturbing. Dude. <laughs> Splashing around joyfully in his little bird bath. <laughs> little hairy bird bath. But actually, I, I, I feel the same way in that uh, I, I actually sometimes have a hard time getting it my, for myself right. if 
I don't if Carol doesn't get. Yeah, it well, first. that's that's also the way I am. Like I like to know that that's done, and sometimes and then you can really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, because like then I'm 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 thinking about that, and if I'm preoccupied yeah. with like okay, so why isn't she or what? Like you know, like I'd rather get that out of the way, and then I can just do my thing. Well, the other thing too is that if you get it first, it's not that you're not. Nothing you're not into it, but you're way more into like getting your girl off if you don't get yours first. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, and I, de- me personally, I I get into it much more. I get off on the whole thing of watching her, oh, yeah, watching yeah, that happen. Yeah, because if I know that I, whatever I'm doing is is going over good, that's getting me more he into it. So. Is relentless. I won't stop. He literally no, <laughs> oh. and he's not kidding when I oh, say no. he won't stop. If, if it's two hours. He won't just just tap, stop. Just tapping me on the head like, okay, you can stop now. I'm like, I need to desensitize for a little bit now because now Understood. it's just like he, oh, my God, he won't stop. He is the most selfless. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know that it's all about <laughs> that. I Thank you for giving me credit, but it's really not being selfless because I really. Fucking, you enjoy it. I really like it. Which doing is all good that, for me, so. but thank you very I'm much. I'm doing it as much for me as I am for you. No, just, he, just to but John's you always say, also saying that his his wife doesn't believe that a lot of women are just happy enough that their man gets his. Now, you know, plenty of times I was like. Don't worry about me. Right. Uh, you're, you know. I'm yeah. Just, well, there has been, yes, there's been plenty of times that you've said that. Yep. Yeah. You're like, okay, well, I just, it's well, not going to, yeah, for whatever it. reason, like, it's not, you know, and, you know, not everybody does all the time. You know, sometimes you don't, you just can't finish up. Yeah, you know, or sometimes I don't even care to. I'm like, it's good enough, like, doing for you. Like, right. I'm fine. Good. Right. Done. That's, that's, I don't care. Right. So, you know, the real challenge is having a woman that's never had an orgasm. Oh. And that's, that I've, been, and there I've, are plenty I've of them, evidently. That. Yeah, 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 and evidently there are a lot of women that uh, that don't have orgasms, and they don't know uh, from, anybody from they having really don't. from having intercourse, from being you know some. That's from... more common than not. Skip thinks that all of his women have had G spot orgasms and that they were real. Well, listen, he's all, had plenty of all Meg I know Ryan's is that women life, is that I've been with say. in the past, they're they're, fakers. They're, they're, there have been plenty of them that well, they must have been really good fucking fakers, and for years. Did you years see that because... movie when Harry met Sally? Yeah, of course I anybody, saw anybody, and believe me. I'm right up there with them. Can fake a good one. But what is the point of faking it, though? Like, I mean, really? Yeah. Because if you can't reach it, and you like, you sometimes it gets like, all right, already, it's enough already. Like, you just want to get over with it, but you don't want to make the person feel like they didn't do a good Actually, job. Actually, I, I know a point. It I, helps I, you fucking I, fin end so that this didn't can I, end already. It's too going on too long. With there's plenty I've done of reasons that. You have why. A fake, you have a fake one. Yeah, I have. Yeah, of course, yeah. just so, want to yeah. get the fuck there out of here. Yeah. I just want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. I'll go I'm get done. one later. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, but see, for a guy though, you got to fake it. It's like you can't. It's harder to fake for a guy because it's evident whether you did or not. Well, right? then, so that, that's, with a that's, girl, there's no evidence. That's when you unless just, she's a squirter, and then of course it's a different yeah, story. Well, that's that's when you just say like you know I don't know. But then Most again, there's, 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 there's a whole the, there's a whole belief of whether or not that really happens either. You know, but, shooting dust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you I mean, you, let me tell you, I can't, I can't stress it enough. The podcast, Sex with yeah. Emily. Oh yeah. There, she has. She, I just when you think you know everything, you listen to her podcast, yeah. you don't know shit. Really? Seriously? And wow. she talks about everything and in detail. She teaches you shit that you never heard of, never knew about, didn't know existed, didn't know you could do it like that. Wow. There is so much stuff that you don't know. Wow. She's been doing this po- these podcasts for years, and think about what how much she knows to be able to talk about every day. Please, you, have, you need to listen to that podcast. I'm going to listen. Listen while I'm at I work. I think we're going to be on it, aren't we? Aren't we talking yes. about trying to get on, get on them with her and talk when about something? We're in something? L.A. We just have to, we have to coordinate. Getting on Emily. Yeah, let's get on yeah, Emily. Yeah, we're going to have sex with Emily. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm down with that. Um, you down with that, Bedell? <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> let's do it. I'm down. She'll right. keep it a secret. Okay, and with that being said, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you need to um, actually go to our website. But looking forward also... to meeting you, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> um, go to our uh, Facebook page, our uh, Hammer and Nails Facebook page, and also we're on Twitter, Hammer Nails Pod uh, dot com. Hammer Nails is it Hammer Nails Pod? <laughs> <laughs> Hammer and it's Nails Hammer Pod. Nails That's the website. What's that? What's our Twitter? Hammer Nails Pod. Oh, at Hammer, Hammer Nails Pod. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So do stop by there. We're also um, we, we like to get questions from you guys about anything and everything, and we, as you hear, do answer them. And um, you know, maybe not right away, but we do hit, hit them eventually. Please do that. And if you are a first-time listener, please, 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 please. 
be kind of rewind and stop back at two. Start listening to the earlier ones because of good shit back <laughs> don't, there. Don't go to one. Don't go to one. <laughs> start at two because You're so funny really with that, man. No, no one should ever listen to one and find out You know out what? Because time is valuable and sometimes people are like, just let me check it out real quick. I don't want people to judge us on one. Right. I'd rather be judged on two, three, four, and after that. Okay. You know, so just check it out. And, um, and tell a friend. Tell yeah. your friends if you like it. Tell your friends. Tell them to come and check us out because a lot of people don't even know what a podcast is. So uh, help us spread the word and the good word of Hammer and Nails podcast. Yeah, and help good defeat evil. If you like us and you guys have been telling us nice things online and we appreciate it, go to iTunes and give us a nice review. Oh, and let all go. those yeah. weak, cunty motherfuckers who are just too fucking weak to show their face and or just mean-spirited. Let's they're, outnumber them. They're just mean. They're just mean spirited. <laughs> no, actually, that's, if you look at our reviews, though, our they're reviews, good. Are, they're like ninety nine. percent Yeah, you get some yeah. people who are just angry people, and like, why are you so fucking angry? Well, there's some people that just go on everything and review it, just give it a bad review for like just because that's what they do. It's just mean. Yeah. Like, why be so angry? You know, you could say it's not for me, or you know, they're too racy, or whatever, or you know. Like, people think I sound miserable. I could not be fucking happier, but just because you've only listened to one podcast episode and you've made the decision of how, <laughs> how I feel, okay, that's great. But just, uh, you know, be kind and be nice to people around you and be nice to your mommies and your daddies and treat animals well. And we'll see you soon because we we're coming you. back and uh, we'll do it again. Thanks see you. Bye. Corolla Digital.